at Uncivilized Vitality and this is a video about a boonie hat modification. So I don't know if you can see my um, awesome boonie hat. This one's from, uh, I believe from Spec Ops brand. I can't see that. No, True Spec. So True Spec, because it's got this cool pocket in the little slot pocket at the top. I usually keep my head net in there. <clears throat> but one of the things I've done is cut off the the little uh, lanyard that comes with that, the necktie, and replaced it with a piece of paracord and some grommets. So we're gonna make one uh, here in the UV room. So let's grab a, let's grab a boonie hat. All right. Grab a boonie hat, and it comes with this little, uh, these little sewn in, I'll clean that up later. These little sewn in neck lanyards. All right, and uh, I mean, you can use these, you can keep them on, you know, tighten them under your chin, but it's not, uh, I mean, they work. No hang if the wind blows off, but they're not super handy. So what we're gonna do is modify this hat. First thing we'll do is remove those. We'll cut that right off where it's sewn in. All right, we're trying this video out with the the GoPro, so I don't know if there's a zoom function on that at all. I'll just hope for the best. All right, so we got that. We'll just throw that away. And now we need a piece of paracord. Let's use, uh, I don't know, let's use just a piece of blue, I guess. And what would go with black and white? Let's see what do we have. Uh, about some red, white, and blue. So we'll pull out some paracord. I hate unwinding these things. We need enough paracord, just a couple, couple feet to make a, like a good lanyard up and around the hat. So we'll grab a little piece of paracord here. We got that. We'll need. Kind of cord lock. Mm. There's some better ones around right now. We'll just use that. We'll just use one of these big white ones that look like a little face that we use for the kids. Next, we'll need some rivets all right so you'll need a piece of paracord and uh, I'm gonna trim the ends off and melt those so we can thread them through a little easier don't do that unless you like nylon burns uh, cut those little parts off melt it So we have a piece of paracord about three feet, a little over three feet long, and a cord lock, a boonie hat, and then you'll need a little rivet tool. You can get these at any um, local hardware store. You can get the hammer type too, but this is just a, just a press setter, little rivet grommets. And they look like this. Let's grab a couple of those out so you can see them. And they're just big enough for paracord to, to, to fit through. So next, we'll need a couple holes in the rim of the hat here. So to cut those holes, we'll need a punch. Let's see. Let's through our bag of doodads here. That's a little bit big. Sure, there's a tiny punch somewhere. Not that big. You know what? I'll find it. All right, so let's get this out of the way. We've got a little punch. Now we need a little board. This is awful loud. And we'll find the. The center of the hat on the sides, or the approximate center. We had this little punch. 
We're gonna put our little grommet right there. Find a hammer. Let's see if that cuts through there. So we get that little hole punched right through there. And then we go to the other side. Line those up in the approximate middle. Punch through. All right, next we will take our little grommet, little grommet rivet, and we set that, punch that through the hole first from this side. Get the rivet tool set on there. Put that in the hole. Crimp it down. Now you've got a little rivet running through your hat for the paracord. Do the one on the other side. So roll the bill up a little bit to get this out of the way. Hold that in place with one of these little binder clips. Drop the little grommet rivet down through there. Set that in place and then crimp it down. All right, now we've got, move some of this out of there. We've got both the rivet set, uh, grommet rivets set. And then you're gonna take your paracord. <clears throat> All right, so I got my, my rivets punched. I'll take my paracord and we're gonna run it up through the grommets. from under the brim. This will be the part that you adjust or keep around your chin. All right, now we come to the back of the hat. We're pretty even on both sides. We'll be able to loosen this up in a minute. Okay. And then we're gonna run the paracord down through the little Molly Pals strap that runs around the brim of the hat and then for the boonie hat this is for uh, putting pieces of uh, sticks and leaves for camouflage and break up the silhouette the pattern of the human head with your hat for camouflage purposes and that'll hold my paracord with a little bit from my chin that'll hold my paracord in place to the hat and then along this part we'll run our little cord lock Run our paracord up through the cord lock, and then uh, just kind of even it out. And then you can, like I did on my hat, before you attach your paracord lock, you can, uh, I have a little ferrocerium rod uh, threaded through on my paracord, just in front of my cord lock. And then I have a little ceramic uh, fire stri striker. Um, both of these came from Wazoo Survival Gear. I just have that attached. So I have another uh, fire source attached to my paracord. And then after you've run that through your cord lock, on the end you'll tie some little, little decorative stopper knots. I'll just tie a little figure eight stopper knot so that it doesn't pull through my cord lock. And now I can adjust my cord lock and the length of my the length of my chin strap and then I can tighten that up from back here pull the cord lock and pull that tight so my hat stays down nice and tight in the high wind or if I want to loosen that cord lock up a little bit loosen it up so the hat can drop down behind me to carry it if I get somewhere and I need an extra bit of paracord uh, I can unthread that from my boonie hat and then I've got an extra uh, what do we say about three feet of paracord there on my hat if you don't like those little tails dangling down You can just run them up to the side and tuck them in the band The side of your boonie hat so that's not bothering you that way the straps out of the way the wind catches it um, I like to wear mine a little tighter I keep that cord a little shorter and I Hitch that down behind my occipital bone and it tends to keep my hat on nice and tight uh, a couple other mods you can do to your boonie hat. On mine, I cut a little bit, uh, where is that opening? I cut a little opening in the brim of the hat and I put a piece of unbent paper clip in there so that I can, uh, let's see if I'm wearing it and I want a little bit more of a 
peak or in that floppy brim, I can just bend that paracord and it'll hold its shape. So I can pinch that to hold its shape. I can flatten it out if I want it to stay flat. I can set that up if I want it to be up for some reason. Was that character Dudley do right or something? I don't remember. So uh, there's a mother mod you can do to your boonie hat. This is just a quick way to replace the, the chin strap or the uh, retention strap it comes with that's just sewn in. Punch a couple of grommets uh, through there, little grommet rivets. You could cut and sew even a, a buttonhole on, on your sewing machine. If you know how to do that, you could just run a buttonhole uh, right there so that you can slide that down through to be reinforced. And then uh, you have yourself a little extra paracord with a cord lock and a way to help retain your boonie hat in case the wind blows it off. So there you go, a little boonie hat modification uh, with lots of editing because I kept dropping the, the little grommets. Uh, and my wife kept laughing at me. So uh, like, share, subscribe, leave some comments. What are some other mods you could do to your boonie hat? Uh, I've seen, um, like I said, the little pocket sewn in there, the buttonholes, the um, uh, wire. Some people have gone all the way around the rim so they can really set that uh, brim how they want it. You can. I used to weave a lot of extra paracord in my hat band, so I had that as well. Um, your... Um, chem lights will fit up here. You can put your headlamp up here. A lot of things you can do to your boonie hat. Leave some comments below what you've done to your boonie hat. And if you uh, love your hat as much as I love my hat. So that's it. Like, share, subscribe.